Hey, welcome lads and lasses to the pilot ship book tag. I be Captain Justin, and I be challenged by plots and points, Captain of the Sword of Destiny, and rapacious leads Captain of the Storm Collar to face them on the high seas. After consulting me tomes on all things naval, I believe I have come up with a ship and a crew worthy to send them to the briny deep. Question number one, what be the name of ye ship? For the name of me vessel, I have chosen the Song of Wrath. For my ship will be the siren song of death and destruction for all me enemies. Question number two, what monster or creature will you have to adorn your flag? I, the Song of Wrath, needs an emblem worthy of the name. And for that purpose, we have Yolman Gonder, the Midgard Serpent. A serpent so large it wraps around the world. There is no other beast in all the waters of the world that demands more respect. And for that, it shall grace the flag of the Song of Wrath. Question number three. You must choose a first mate on your vessel. For this, I chose none other than the Lady Vlorda Flint from Sins of Empire. As the owner and commander of the Riflejack Mercenary Company, she'd be good at giving orders and making sure things get done. Also, as a powder mage, she'd be stronger and faster than other men, and with a single thought, she can blow the gunpowder on all the other vessels, sky high with just a single thought. Pretty good, don't you see, on the high seas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep that, like me, like choking. Question number four Who be the navigator on your vessel? For position of navigator, I promoted the man of many wiles, Odysseus himself. A hero of the Trojan War, he sailed for ten years on the Mediterranean Sea, fighting legends and beasts and devious sorceresses and the gods themselves. If he can defeat those enemies, nothing will stand in the way of the Song of Wrath as long as the King of Ithaca set our course. Question number five. Pick two characters to be your raiding crew. For the first raider, I chose Heracles, the demigod. You may know him better as Hercules. No man, no enemy can stand before him. For my second choice, I choose none other than Conan the Cimmerian, a pirate lord in his own right. He be wenching and pillaging and raiding as the greatest of all men. If you think you can stand before the might of Heracles and Conan the Barbarian, you best be fooling yourself in a pint of rum. Question number six. Who be your lookout? For the lookout of the Song of Wrath, I choose none other than Sumail from Joe Abercrombie's Half a King. Sumail has spent many years in the closeness for Shadik Shalrim's evil ship. She has never run aground even among the most dangerous of seas, the Shad Sea. Question number seven. Who be the physician on your ship? Aye, a physician be good on the Song of Wrath. After all the raiding and pillaging, we bound to take many wounds. But we have Cloaker of the Black Company, a battlefield surgeon of the finest order on the vessel. If he can keep the men of the Black Company all rough and tumble crew themselves afloat, I'm sure he'll do right fine by us. Question number eight. Who be providing entertainment for you? Mm. After many long days and long nights on the high seas, any crew be getting restless. And for entertainment purposes, I have chosen a man many of you may not have heard of. But it be Snorri Sturluson, a skald of the highest order, telling the Viking stories of old and the songs of legend. And indeed, our tales be told for all posterity to hear, as he crafts the kennings into sagas of the Song of Wrath for all time to hear. 
Question number nine. Choose a character to scrub the pool deck for all time. I, for a character hated to scrub the deck for all time, I choose none other than Cersei Lannister from the Song of Ice and Fire. A cruel bitch she be, and for that she must toil and work beneath our feet until I say otherwise. I, and we need more pirates sailing the literary seas, and for that, I tag Richard of Richard Reed's Cam of Wolfshot Publishing, Rebecca and Sarah of the Tea Hags, and Heather of Book Squirm, and any of ye willing to challenge me and send me to the briny deep. And remember, read victoriously. Wow, my read victoriously sounded very piratey, but everything else was like not. <laughs>